and challenging stereotypes and starting new conversations. Greenville Can Talks brings five local people with disabilities to the stage and to deliver those thought-provoking presentations that will leave you inspired. We're joined by Laura with the uh, Barbara Stone Foundation along with Owen, a former Can Talk speaker and Betsy, a speaker at this year's event coming up on Tuesday. Good to see you guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And we were talking about this year five. It's a, it's a big year for you guys. It is a big year. We're really excited and we are celebrating this year. We have a comedy toast and alumni montage that we are putting together. A former speaker and alumni is giving that comedy toast and Kennethy e. Hughes is going to be a part of that with uh, seven of our former speakers and it's going to be a fun little thing Saturday Night Live little pop up from the audience. <laughs> It's going to be fun. And talk about what you wanted to accomplish with uh, Can Talks. So Can Talks was really created um, because there's really a lack of connection between the disability community and the non-disabled community. So we wanted to create that connection and give people a chance to build those relationships and build that community to um, really build those avenues to dismantle barriers um, and give people with disabilities more opportunity. Awesome, and Owen, you were the, you're gonna be the MC this year. You've been a former Can Talk speaker. What has been fun about that event? What, do you, what did you learn from the audience and what did they learn from you? Yeah, I think the audience interaction is one of the most important things because, mm -hmm. you know, going to Can Talks and being a part of Can Talks as an audience member, it's, you know, you get to see how we feel, you get to live the life in our eyes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important for the audience to be there so that way they can hear us and that way we can build that connection and really bring up the importance of creating a unified community yeah. for the greater cause. I'm sure people always have questions, especially for people with disabilities, and they're like always afraid to ask. So it's good to be able to have that accessibility to say, uh, and now is maybe a better forum to see what I can say, what I shouldn't say, how to be respectful, inclusive, all of that stuff. Absolutely, and I think our speakers really invite our audience to participate in that without having that fear. Um, our speakers really present those topics in a way that invites our audience to be a part of that. And Betsy, you are a speaker this year. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you're hoping to accomplish through the Can Talks presentation. Yeah, sure. My name is Betsy, as you had said. I grew up in Greenville for about 22 years and moved down to Anderson about two years ago. And I'm going to give my speech on um, pre-employment opportunities for those with disabilities. I personally have um, experienced workplace discrimination and I wanted to show a uh, light towards that, that people with disabilities really do experience that. A lot of times people will say that they understand what it's like to have a disability, but when it's presented to them, they really have no idea how to correctly accommodate that. I mean, I, I love that, that, that open conversation because we've all, you know, kind of seen seen something happen and we're like, you know, I don't know the right way to, to react in that situation. So I, I love that bringing all these speakers with very different backgrounds to the stage um, mm -hmm. is, is a, a great way to bring young people out to, to encourage that type of conversation as well. Um, does This event costs money for, and it's going to be at center stage. Yeah. How do we get tickets to it? Or is there anything we need to know before we go to the event? Tickets are selling out fast. Yeah. You can find them online at gvlcantalks.com. Org, uh, $25 per in-person ticket and then $10 there is a virtual option mm -hmm. um, and uh, we just hope people come out we have uh, just about 50 tickets left so we're hoping people come on out and uh, get their tickets this weekend. Awesome and I'm sure you guys have some special things planned for the year number five for the audiences as well. We do it's gonna be a lot a lot of fun yeah. Awesome thank you guys so much for being here and for sharing your story and good luck on next Tuesday at Center Stage we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.